days, 50s, 60s, that are desirous of getting married to receive their spouses. At 46 plus, for the first time, I got married in a glorious wedding. God, it was indeed faithful. It moved. And what we were not able to do in three years, we were able to do it in three months. And uh, I give God the glory. He does not share his glory with anyone. Um, I praise his holy name and I thank him for ever being faithful. I thank Pastor Jerry and Pastor Eno, Pastor Ugu, and all the NSPPD crew that are making this happen. And I want to say that at 46, I have my evidence. God is indeed faithful and will forever be faithful. I will come back for the main all bad go testimony. Watch out for this face. Watch out for me because I will come back. Thank you everyone. God bless you. What God cannot do does not exist. My name is Ella. I'm testifying from Lagos. I've been having this itching for a long time now, for a year plus now. It has always been very discomforting. Sometimes there are some dresses that, that I don't wear. In fact, each time I'm under the sun, I feel very uncomfortable. Very, very discomforting until I stay under the AC to calm it down. I received my instant healing yesterday during the one minute instant miracle. I noticed that the itching stopped since that yesterday until now. No more itching. And I'm here to thank the God of this altar, this fire altar. Then my second testimony is last year, I was added to this platform last year, March. And since then I have been following. So that March, Papa said that we should download the pictures of the things we want. I did. I downloaded a picture of twins, a boy and a girl, and a, and a picture of Canadian student visa. Then he also said that we should write the date on it, the date we want it to happen on the picture. Then, which I did. I chose, I told God that I want to take in that same ma match, then give birth in nine months, which is November. Then, after the prayer that day, that same month, I conceived. Then the date they gave me the hospital, the month was the same month I put in that picture. To the glory of God, that same November, I put to bed bouncing baby boy and a girl. Then the, the student, uh, Canadian student visa, I also got it. I was given, it was given to me that same October last year. And I'm here to return all the glory to God for remembering me, for, for, for answering my prayers. Indeed, there is fire in this altar. Indeed, there is fire in this altar. I want to especially thank Pastor Jerry for you guys coming out every morning to pray, to lead us to pray. So many testimonies. And I'm here to appreciate the God of this commission. I'm here to thank Pastor Jerry Momieno. God bless you guys. God bless you. I'm grateful. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What God cannot do does not exist. Indeed, what God cannot do does not really exist. My name is Colette. I live in Houston, Texas. I am giving this testimony on behalf of my former colleague back home in Cameroon. This lady had a problem with a financial institution where she was working. She had an issue with money, 204 million francs, and she was locked up in prison. In prison, not in the police station. She has been in prison since last year. January this year, I had a dream. And in that dream, a voice was telling me to send her the NSPPT prayer. Still in that dream, I saw her and I was telling her about the NSPPT prayer. And I asked her in the dream if she's able to use a phone in prison. And she said yes. Still in the dream, I told her that I would send her money for data so that she will be able to follow up with the prayer. When I woke up from the dream, I just knew God wants to use the NSPPT prayer to release her from prison. Some days later, I contacted her. 
I explained everything to her about the dream. And I asked her again now if she's able to use the phone in prison. She said yes, but she told me that the phone is always with the yard master. So I started sending her the link. I sent her some money for data. Keep encouraging her, keep praying for her. I think towards the end of January, she texted me that she will be going for the final year in the final judgment on the 17th of February. I told her to pray, oh Lord, show me mercy before going to court. That same 17, she came back, texted me again that the case has been adjoined to March. I keep sending the link to her, keep sending the prayer link to her, and telling her, emphasizing that she should always pray, oh Lord, show me mercy. Pastor Jerry, on the 25th of March, this March, I wake up from sleep and I saw a message from her. In quotes, in her words, she said, Mama, for me, I have been discharged and acquitted. <laughs> I shouted and I replied, what God cannot do does not exist. I still did not believe she was the one. I said I will call. Yesterday I called her. She explained everything to me how it went in court. She said when she went to court that day, the judge just read the law, the article, article, this, this, that, 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 and just told her, you have been discharged and acquitted, just like that. They did not even ask her to pay the money, nothing. They just released her like that. As to Jerry, 204 million francs. Indeed, what God cannot do does not exist. When I called her that yesterday, she also told me that when she was in prison, initially she didn't have access to a phone, to her phone. But the moment they gave her her phone, she said the moment they gave her her phone, that is when I stepped in with the NSPPD prayer. Indeed, what God cannot do does not exist. Pastor Jerry, Pastor Oguru Mumi Eno, I thank you all for all your prayers, all your sacrifices. I thank you all. And I pray that may the oil on your heads never run dry. Indeed, what God cannot do does not exist. Oh my hey. God! Hey! Celebrate hey. the Lord like you hey. really love Him! Hey. Celebrate the Lord! Celebrate hey. the Lord! Hey. If you can do these miracles, hey. don't say anything! Hey. But if you know that God is the doer of these miracles, give hey. the Lord a shout! Hey. Give the Lord a shout! Finish me with testimony. Hey. What are you talking about? Hey. 46 year old. Hey. Jehovah decorates her with hey. her husband. Fine husband. People hey. of God. Hey. As if you, I'm trying to recover from that hey. one. Then the lady says, I came by March. Hey. And I asked the Lord, Lord. Hey. please give me twins. twins. Hey. People of God. Hey. As she asked the Lord, hey. the Lord exactly. gave her twins. A boy and, and a girl. Oh my God. People hey. of God. God. Hey. Are you everyone looking for a child here. Hey. Hey. As, hey. as your amen was under, listen. This is, I feel there's an anointing for twins here. Yes. Ah. An anointing for twins here. Ah. As your amen will thunder, carry your twins. Ah. Carry your twins. Ah. Carry your twins. Ah. I say carry it right now. Ah. You would think I am joking. Oh. Ah. You would think that I am joking. Ah. Ah. But carry your twins right now. Ah. Carry your twins right now. Ah. Hey, boy, and hey. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Let your amen thunder three times. Amen. 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 Some of you, you went before. They say it's only one. No, 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 no. I, we it is changed right now. The Lord is changing it right now. The Lord is changing it right now. The Lord is changing it right now. Let your amen thunder louder. What God cannot do. 
does not exist people at all. God. How do you Sir. explain ah. somebody Sir. who obviously was in a fraudulent uh, ah. And the lady said, when you are going, pray. Oh, oh Lord, Lord, show, show me mercy. mercy. You see mercy, eh? Uh. You see mercy, mercy. Eh? You see mercy, eh? Mercy. Hey. You see mercy. Mercy. You see mercy. And that is why on the first of April, uh. we are going to pray again. Lord, you see in the month of April, uh. oh Lord, show, show me mercy. Mercy. Ah. Hey. See, mercy does not, let me not. You see, that's why I love, oh Lord, show me mercy. It looks beyond what you have done. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, 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 sir. When God decided to do, to be merciful, I don't uh, know how to, to, he now introduced the concept of mercy. Mercy. Yes, sir. He just yes, said, sir. Say, what can I just do so uh, that I can overlook all, uh, the, all uh, the things uh, you've done? Uh, and uh, then he also now brought in mercy. Uh, People of God, she uh, prayed, oh Lord, show me mercy. And then she went with all the fraudulent things surrounding uh, her. She went there and she was discharged and acquitted. Discharged and acquitted. acquitted. People of God, what manner of God is what this? Manner of God is this? Discharged and acquitted. I mean, man of God, you, you, you understand. The acquitted, uh, is the acquitted part. Uh -huh. Very important. You mean she it? will never be tried again for that matter. Never. No court will ever and try with again. The, it's a, the, with what she committed a crime. It doesn't matter. Discharged and acquitted. <laughs> it's closed forever. The case is closed forever, forever. and forever. ever. Hallelujah. And by reason of what she committed, she shouldn't have been acquitted. Yes. Yes. Whatever the, the, at this point, the court has given you a verdict. Everything she did is no more important. Hey. What is important right now is discharge and child. Any any accusation the devil has brought against you, as you amen one another, I decree discharge and acquitted. Discharge and acquitted. Discharge and acquitted. Let your amen turn the louder. People of God, Jesus, they here. Jesus, they here. Jesus, they here. What God cannot do does not exist. People of God, remember, we're still going to take our five communions. Yes, sir. But before then, people of God, this was what we showed you last year. And we thought about it and we just felt like, I mean, there could never be anything better to just remind you. So when we had one year anniversary of NSVPD, we brought this video your way. Take a look. I would consider it as an inspiration I got from God and um, it was in a very gloomy moment and uh, at the time when the lockdown was looming and uh, pretty much um, a lot of people were avoiding other people. I noticed that people's um, desire for fellowship was highly waning and um, just the same with the Bibles was saying that darkness will cover the earth and gross darkness the people, you know, and uh, I just realized that it was time for the glory of the Lord to rise and uh, I, I just knew, I just knew. There was a knowing in my spirit that it was time for God to birth a new season. The devil thought he dealt a bad blow on the world and God knew that it was time for something new to be birthed. And when it finally came on, it was Pastor Jerry and Pastor Eno. And my guns are blazing. Like boom, 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 boom. It was just prayers and prayers and prayers. I'm like, ooh, 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 okay. I'm gonna be around this one. I, I love it. I love it. It was. It's very, very um, powerful, and it's just something that I needed. Out of the groanings and labor pangs of people, so the tears were actually the fertilizer for what we call NSPPD. Anything that ever opposed you. Not in my life. I, I, I really never thought that um, 
it was going to be this massive because all I came to do was just to talk to my people, my congregation, you know, so my congregation, even if they came online, you know, it wasn't going to be this number as it were, but like every move of God, it transcends boundaries, you know, it goes, it cuts across individuals and families and uh, if it's a move of God, it is actually transgenerational and so that's exactly what NSPPD came about and um, it was it, it became it became it became bigger than us now how I knew was first of all when God took me beyond myself now there were things I would literally do in my place of prayer in my room that the Spirit of God immediately began to have me do on NSPPD so um, there was no packaging anymore there was no branding anymore there was no it was just prayer prayer in its rawest form and so sometimes when people say to us you know we thought you would come down a bit we thought you would brand the prayer you know come out now in NSPPD we don't come to feel cool we don't come to feel branded we don't come with our package prayers so because that's it it, 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 it isn't it isn't a brand it's just our spirit set loose our spirits on fire for God I think it is simply listening to God per time like I don't have a pro what people don't understand is that we don't have a prayer book it you know the prayers are coming as the spirit is leading them I do not even know about the prayer I'm going to call up just before NSP, NSPPD starts. I don't know what to begin with. I just go there and trust them. The biggest miracle is this on NSPPD. The capacity to generate fresh inspirations for prayer each day. So you don't even know what it is God is going to put in your spirit. Sometimes they sound very weird as they are starting. At other times they sound very in line, in sync. But just being extremely very vulnerable. It's difficult when you know you're not in control. But it's sweet when you see he that is in control given the result and you just assume that daily position of saying, I don't want to be in control. Do your thing and let's get our results. I think it is discipline and consistency. I, I am I am a very disciplined person. Everyone who knows me will tell you that Pastor Jerry is a very disciplined person. I can die in quotes on a matter I can I can stay on a thing I can walk a thing I believe that you don't give up too easily I guess that's one of the things that makes it very different for me yes It takes a whole lot. I'm not even going to lie. It takes a whole lot to do what we're doing. For every time um, you see a move of God like ours, like what's happening on NSPPD, they didn't happen in a vacuum. They didn't happen in a vacuum. Um, someone has been praying all night. So I pray all night. And I didn't start because of NSPPD for the past 10 years of my life over 10 years of my life I have continued to pray have my all night prayers now I'm not talking about praying an hour or two or praying three hours we're talking about from over four hours every night every night consistently and so and um, then of course when you're done with praying in the night morning has come so in the past I usually used to sleep in the early hours of the morning but now because of NSPPD boom you are off and then you're meeting it and all that there can never be um, any less of the manifestation of the Godhead when someone has paid the kind of price that we're paying and so for us it is sleeplessness for me it is a case of pushing through against the odds it's actually sometimes it's very tiring but when we look at what God is doing in the lives of people we tell ourselves we'll do it again and again and again I feel awed I feel I, I literally am shocked the way others are shocked as well 
I, I ask myself what's going on. Why did you choose us, God? Why are you manifesting yourself the way you're manifesting? It is surreal. Um, I just ask myself, is this real? Is this happening? Because some testimonies are just, I don't know, but it, it feels divine. It feels very heavenly. And I just knew I was born for such a time as this. It's when you see the, the testimonies in themselves are just too, too numerous to mention. You know, the autistic children healed. The dead came back, came back to life. The blind that saw. The lame that walked. The deaf ears that were opened. And you know, the most interesting thing is that it's not a crusade. You didn't lay hands on people. You didn't carry. Right there in their house, the lame is walking. Right there in their house, someone in coma is coming out of coma. Right there. So it's almost like Zacchaeus when Jesus says salvation is coming to your house. So I really think that salvation maybe has also away from being its crusade grounds are also right now getting to the homes offices of people and God is showing forth his power what a season to be alive the prayers I'm a person of prayer I love to pray I, I love the prayer part so and this is what you know sometimes you know we agree on okay we're gonna read testimonies and all that you know so sometimes I've had to use some things to be like markers to remind me or oh, stop the prayer at this point and take testimonies I love prayers so it just makes me come alive so I breathe it so I just don't know I, ju I just want to continue and continue like, you will never you will never every limitation they placed on your head God, without them the Lord is lifting you seven times high. there's something called the spirit of prayer so when it hits me I don't want to stop and the truth is that it's an overflow of what happens in my secret place. So getting to a point where you just think you've prayed for 20 minutes and you have to stop. Why? When I can actually do more. So for me, that's, that tells a story. I didn't start this. So I can't tell. But with the way the cloud of glory is moving, you can almost predict, you can almost tell. This is a global quake. This is a revival, global revival of the strange acts of God. This is a hearing nations. God is using the new media to bring situation to their knees. Presidents of the world are taking knowledge of what is going on on NSPPD. They are bowing. I mean, we started with our church people till we came to a point where different, everyone is now on NSPPD. When I get presidents, you know, reach out to me, presidents of nations, and I say to myself, wow, is it a small thing that we're doing that is catching the attention of the world? Trust me, even one year, even one year, God is even causing heads of nations to know what we're doing. I don't know, in another year, I don't know, I don't know. But I do know that the cloud is still moving. Celebrate the great God with Sam. Celebrate wow. the great God with wow. Sam. Thank you, Jesus. Who is excited about NSPPD? Jesus. Celebrate the Lord. Jesus. Give the Lord a loud shout. Hey. And this, by the way, by the way, this is our first anniversary video. 
And so I had to tell my crew, I said, you know what, let's play that first anniversary um, um, video again. And people of God, as, as I was just looking at the video, I, I realized that a number of things have obviously um, changed, you know. I was like, a number of things have obviously changed. So I remember in between the, um, in between the documentary, I spoke about reading testimony. testimony. So, um, so NSBPD and Zoo joined us when we started, knew that there were times when we, we will post the prayer and um, read testimonies, testimonies and all that. If we try it now, you people will burn us down. <laughs> hey, Pastor, please just let this prayer flow. Let this prayer flow. So there were times when we read testimonies. Um, um, there were times oh, also... Um, then we're doing the work. We're going through oh, the yeah, that was at the beginning. The beginning yes. That was at the beginning when yes. we will open the scriptures and read and all of that. But then again, oh. it just kept moving. Like the Child. person said, it just came boom, boom, boom. So it just, it just started and God just caused the fire to overflow. And um, they obviously, there was a time we were all sitting down, but right now, uh, we can't even sit down. Even the sitting down was very uncomfortable. Oh, yes, so, yes, and I'm, and I'm yes. looking at myself on that yes. and I said, why were you even sitting down? Because here was us sitting down. You're doing like uh, really, as if you were on a chain and all that. But then again, it's been absolutely oh, very miraculous here. But then by this time last year, we were obviously not this number. Yes, not this number. And SVBD has just spread everywhere spread everywhere people of God you just may never know if you are in a one of the things that bonded people is what God cannot do does not exist and people of God so even while we're on please if you have not yet used the hashtag NSPPD is 2 NSPPD is 2 people of God just write it everywhere NSP hashtag NSPPD is 2 please that's the way it's written not NSPPD is T um, W O but NSPPD is is 2 to people of God, so use the hashtag on Twitter and just about everywhere. NSPPD is to share your own experience. What has the Lord done for you and all that? How do you feel? Sending your greetings, you know, say anything you like, but make sure that you use the hashtag NSPPD is to people of God. It's been phenomenal, it's been mind blowing. And people of God, before we take our communion, I'm going to take a little while and just say a very big thank you to this awesome people, awesome man of God, and the woman of God who has follow through over people of God I want to tell you you see this thing that we do every morning it's not easy it's not easy I'm telling you the truth so I can imagine it's easier when I say okay God give me the vision so I will always be here and show up but when people who see what you see and they are there and they say let's when you tell them let's run a mile they say pastor can we go three can we go for a such such a huge honor so please would you help me celebrate my dear wife pastor Emma and Pastor Ogro and Pastor Oke who is not here with us we celebrate I celebrate them from the depth of my heart and I want to say it's it's awesome to to know that we're doing this and not one day not one day have they if they missed being here you just know that i send them on an assignment somewhere and people of god is such a joy to be here it's such a joy to be in your face every morning and to god um, who continues to give us the grace to him be all the glory in the name of jesus Amen. and people of god remember today is about nsppd is to write your own story about nsppd use the hashtag NSPPD is to hashtag 7 a.m. fire prayers for what our God cannot do no, does not no exist. exist. People of God, remember today we're going to be taking five communions. We're going to be taking five communions and we pray over every substance and over every liquid you have. They cease to be ordinary, but they become the very blood and the flesh of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And we decree that the first communion is a communion of the new. Amen. Amen. By the reason of the shift that has happened today, Can't I decree that. you have entered your new. Amen. You have entered your new. Amen. Go ahead and eat of the flesh of Jesus. And drink of the blood of the new covenant. And our second communion is, I am in my inheritance. Amen. Amen. That thing that ah. the Lord has earmarked for you, I decree that you have entered into Amen. it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Go ahead and eat of the flesh of Jesus.
and drink of the blood of the new covenant. And our third communion is communion of speed. Amen. 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 Ah, yeah, 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 Amen. yeah. God yeah. 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 has brought you to a season of speed. Amen. 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 Receive it right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Go ahead and eat of the flesh of Jesus. And drink of the blood of the new covenant. And the Lord specifically said to me last night, delay has been broken. Amen. 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 As you eat of the flesh of Jesus and drink of his blood, I decree that delay has been broken. Amen. 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 In 48 hours, ah. you will testify where you have been delayed. Amen. 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 Go ahead and eat of the flesh of Jesus drink of the blood of the new covenant. And our last communion is communion of answers. Get on your knees and begin to ask the Lord for three things that you desire of him. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Go ahead and eat of the flesh of Jesus. And drink of the blood of the new covenant. Hallelujah. Amen. For what our God cannot do does not, not exist. exist. People of God, what a season to be alive. Yes, People sir. of God, send in your video testimonies. Every single thing the Lord has done for you and you believe. There are some of you who have entered into the second year, but you never share the testimonies that God made happen in your life for the first year. Please go ahead and send in your video testimonies immediately. Send in your video testimonies immediately to this number 0804. 5581865353. I repeat, 08055-818-653 for the very last time. 08055-818-653. Send in your video testimonies. I've seen people lose their miracles because they did not share their testimony. People of God, God is talking to you. Look at that huge miracle God did for you. He didn't look at anything to do it for you. But right now, you're trying to give excuses why you will not um, give your testimony. I've seen people lose their miracles because they did not testify. Go ahead and share. Share that testimony. Send in your video testimony to this number, 08055 Eight one eight six five three. I repeat, zero eight zero five five eight one eight six five three. For the very last time, zero eight zero five five eight one eight six five three. For what our God cannot do, does, does not exist. exist. And people of God, it is very important that we remind you today that you can actually follow me on any of my social media handle. And people of God, it is very very important. So right about now, anyone, please beware, beware of scammers that come in my name and they say. I am Pastor Jerry and this one, that one and all of that people of God, my real Instagram account is the one that has over 400,000 followers the one that has over 400,000 followers. So follow me on my real Instagram account. Follow me on my real Instagram account. The one that has over 400,000 followers. Follow me on my real Instagram account at real Jerry Easy. At real Jerry Easy. Follow me on my real Instagram account at real Jerry Easy. Both on Instagram and on Twitter at real Jerry Easy. People of God, if you are an, an NSPPD and you have not followed, I'm not sure you're doing the right thing, go ahead and follow for what our God can. 
cannot do does not not exist. exist. People of God, you can actually subscribe right now to our YouTube channel, our testimony channel, and you are going to be watching mind-blowing testimonies that will build your faith. People of God, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Streams of Joy TV, at Streams of Joy TV, so that you can be just uh, um, in touch with testimonies that will continue to build your spirit and build you as it were. People of God, and also, you can also send in your prayer request to pray with Pastor Jerry at streamsofjoy.org. What a season to be alive. Yes, Two years of the grace of Two God. Years. Two years of the mercies of God. Yes, Two, Two years, years of mind-blowing yes, wonders. Sir. Two years, people of God, remember, go out there. And all we're going to be writing today is what God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. We're going to write it three times. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. Hashtag NSPPD is two. Hashtag NSPPD is two. Hashtag um, seven, uh, seven, seven a.m. Fire, fire prayers. prayers. Hashtag NSPPD NSP is two. Hashtag seven a.m. Fire, fire prayers. prayers. People of God, write it everywhere. Paste it. If NSPPD has been a blessing to you, go ahead and spread the word for the world to hear and see what Jesus is doing. For what our God cannot do does not exist. People of God, don't forget that tomorrow on the altar of fire. Remember, you are watching real time. You are watching real time. And remember, the theme is no crossover of negativity. Let the glory fall. And no crossover of negativity. Let the glory fall. And people of God, remember, come with your expectation for the quarter. By this, I'm talking about April May and June. It's going to be hot, 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 hot on every side. Hallelujah. Amen. From you, a great woman of a great God. Oh, thank you, sir, for everything. Thank you, sir, for these two years. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And uh, today has been amazing. The Lord has shown you mercy. Amen. You see, today, one evidence that will make you know that the Lord has really shown you mercy, as your amen will be the loudest, your joy will be full today. Amen. 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 From your great man of a great God. Thanks, Emilio, my papa. Thank you, sir. You know, uh, my heart is full of joy already. Mm -hmm. And um, honestly, Colossians chapter 1, verse 24, there about, um, Paul was saying that he is completing the suffering that is remaining for the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when you read it, you think it is Paul. Mm -hmm. But actually, for every generation, when God is about to do something, he raises a man that can suffer for the body of Christ. And when I see you, I see that man yes, who has suffered for the betting of this new apostolic yes, move. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And you see, NSPPDians, the Bible also said that those that labor over you in the world, they are deserving of double honor. Mm. Number one honor is, thank you, sir. Number two honor is to do something practical about it. <laughs> this rema, you've not heard it before. And I'm being sincere. You know, you know how it is. Um, let us maximize the atmosphere. Let us not miss any opportunity. As we celebrate our papa for the sufferings God has used to bet yes. in this generation, yes. we should also be practical about it. Yes. Let papa receive something from us to say practical, meaning material. I'm not talking about prayer. You have prayed. Material to say, Papa, sorry, sorry, don't rain me in. To say thank you for this suffering. You know, you know, he, he, he thinks he has a life. He does not have life. This thing is not life, sir. It's not life. How can we be doing the life I live? Is I live, I live for you. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but this Christ uh, is in uh, It is scripture. Uh -huh. And that's Paul. Uh -huh. And you're living it out now. Uh -huh. No holiday, nothing. My and holiday is on the altar. <laughs> <laughs> so please, let us just do that. And I want to say the truth is this. This is your season of double portion. Amen. Amen. You will never, ever. 
You see today, when you remember today, you'll be grateful that you were part of this. Yes. Amen. It's not just you that will enjoy. Everyone important to you shall celebrate Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. People of God, please don't forget to write it everywhere three times. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. Hashtag, hashtag NSPPD is and hashtag, hashtag NSPPD is, is two. Thank you, thank you. Hashtag NSPPD is two. two. And hashtag 7 a.m. fire prayer. Yes. People of God, lift up your right hand and declare after me. Say, I am dwelling, I am dwelling in the sacred place, in the secret place of, the most high. of the Most High. I am abiding, I am abiding under, the shadow under the shadow of the Almighty. Of the Almighty. I am saying of the Lord, of the Lord. He, is he is my refuge and my fortress. And my, fortress. And my, fortress. my God, my God. In, him in Him will I trust. Will I trust. Amen. Amen. God bless you, people of God, and see you tomorrow at the altar of fire. Amen. God bless you.
sense. The woman said, I didn't say that. What I am saying is, what God cannot do does not exist. And so the doctor goes to the brother-in-law and begins to tell the brother-in-law to warn the woman about her behavior. And people of God, Shandi Kasara, Hila Borosha, few hours after they wheel the husband out and put the husband in the ICU, the woman walked straight to where the husband was and said to God, you are too faithful to fail. I trust you too much. My faith has risen. For the Bible says, for now, faith, now, Rakodesha, faith is now. It is not tomorrow that our people listening to the song and God is saying, right now, right now. For the Bible says, while Jesus was yet speaking, while he was yet speaking, while he was yet speaking, Shadukara. And the woman said, I went straight to where my husband was. And the woman called the husband's name. Who does that? It doesn't make sense. Even if it's going to wake up, this is a few hours after a brain surgery. And the woman called the husband's name. And the husband responded. And opened his eyes. Open his eyes. Let's take it up again. And the woman said that after the husband recovered, the doctors came in and were looking. And the doctor called the man. And the man responded. And the woman and the doctor, everybody was amazed. But this is not the catch. Look at the one that blew me off. Look at the one that made me cry. Look at the one that made me say, there is no one like our God. And that is the fact that when they came to move the man out of the ICU, to move the man into the water, they now removed the window blades. And the woman was asking, why are you removing the window blades? And they said, the door cannot take the stretcher. And so we need to move the man out from the window. We're going to move him out. Don't forget that the expert said, you will not be able to stand. You cannot stand for another one year. But people of God, while they were thinking about how to move the man from the stretcher out of the window, Shika, the man stood up on his feet.